Coming up, I have 5 hacks for Sensor Empire, or just Sensor in general, which you might not have known about. Believe it or not, some people don't know that there is a lever reach adjustment for your shifters. On the Sensor Empire, just peel back the lever hoods and then wind in this little bolt here. I like to wind mine in all the way as I have absolutely tiny hands and I also really like the feel of massive hoods. No homo. Just note that your brake calipers will need some readjusting. When I'm in the drops, even though my shifters are wound in all the way, I sometimes struggle to shift, especially in the rain as these metal shifters get super slippery and my finger often slips when I'm trying to shift. I solve this problem by placing some tape on the shifter. Not only can I easily shift gears in my drops now, it also makes riding in general just a lot more confidence inspiring due to the extra grip that I have. Ideally, I'd like a deeper shifter, but this will do. Oh no, my sensor rear derailleur or shifter broke. Well, guess what? If you have a SRAM rear derailleur or shifter, they are actually interchangeable. Cool, right? Although, if you did have SRAM parts, then why aren't you using them? Also, if you're wondering why they are interchangeable, well, check out this video here. Or here. I don't know. Now, this only applies if you bought those complete group sets on AliExpress, such as these. Now, because sensor doesn't make brakes and cranks and chains and all that, these sellers have to get those parts from other brands. The ones that I bought came with these Racework brakes, which I swapped out for Shimano ones as they were absolute crap. They had two big problems about them. Number one, they don't stop. These Racework brake pads are horrendous, honestly. Just one of my Shimano R7000 brakes stops better than a, a pair of these. Now you might be like, oh, why don't you just buy new brake pads? Well, my answer to that is no because the second problem with these brakes was the build quality. Now, I know they're cheap, they are freaking $20, but look at what I'm talking about, right? You see these barrel adjusters, right? They, they don't turn. I can pull them out, but they can't turn. And I'm sure it's not just these racer brakes, because on AliExpress, it is very common for multiple brands to source the same products from the same supplier. Look at this, all right? These are my uh, old racework bricks. And then look at this. And then look at this. Yeah. So if you're thinking about getting brakes that look like this, just don't. You're better off paying slightly more for better bricks. Now, I didn't know this. I didn't know how bad these brakes were. So hopefully this video has come out just in time to save your life. But anyways, if you have learned something from this video, or at least have been entertained, do feel free to leave a like and a subscribe. It really helps the channel. But as always, I will see you guys next time. Good night everybody.